Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak with you all today. As much as I wanted to be with you in person, right now I'm in Korea as we begin to mark the 65th anniversary of the end of the Korean War by honoring the men and women who served. As I said, I was very happy to get an invitation to talk about Team Rubicon because I've been a big fan of this organization for a while now, and it's good to see that General Dynamics is supporting them like this as well. You know, Team Rubicon answers the call like no one else can. If you're not familiar with Team Rubicon, they're teams of veterans that go into disaster zones and carve out missions that complement the work being done by other first responders. It's virtuous, it's courageous, and it is a public service that all Canadians appreciate. I want to say a big thank you to both of these groups for doing what they're doing. And I want to tell you I am going to be your biggest champion. Because while government does a lot to help people transitioning out of the military, we know there are some things that we can't do. Brian, congratulations on your recent selection to lead Team Rubicon Canada. I look forward to supporting you in whatever way possible. And to General Dynamics, thank you for stepping up. Your actions are to be commended.